I have new details now about the young mother who shot and killed an intruder while she was on the phone with 911. Authorities say she will not face murder charges, but the intruder's alleged accomplice will. ABC's Ryan Owens joins us with the latest on all this. Good morning, Ryan. Good morning to you, Robin. This really is an incredible legal twist if you think about it. The young woman who pulled the trigger is legally in the clear, and a young man who didn't even have a gun when this happened is now charged with murder. 911, what's the emergency? There's a guy at my door, I'm here by myself with my infant baby. This guy is up to no good. Can I please get a dispatcher out here immediately? This is the young mother who fired the deadly shot. I walked over and got the 12 gauge went in the bedroom and got the pistol and put the bottle in his mouth and then I called 911. 18 year old Sarah McKinley was home alone, taking care of her three month old son on New Year's Eve. Her husband had just died of cancer on Christmas Day. Are your doors locked? Yes, I've got two guns in my hand. Is it okay to shoot him if he comes in the store? Well, you have to do whatever you can do to protect yourself. I can't tell you that you can do that, but you do what you have to do to protect your baby. McKinley shot and killed one of the two men who was breaking into her home. But this is the man now charged with first degree murder. It sounds strange, but prosecutors say Dustin Stewart is responsible for the death of his friend and alleged accomplice, Justin Martin. Uh, when the death of somebody occurs during the commission of that felony, we're allowed to file a murder charge, and that's what we've done in this particular case because Mr. Stewart would be responsible for the death of uh, Justin Martin. Police believe Stewart and Martin were high on prescription painkillers and may have come to McKinley's door looking for more. What they found was a mother with a killer maternal instinct. There's nothing more dangerous than a mother with a child. Police say what she did was justified, and apparently her community agrees. Donations and baby clothes are pouring in for the young woman her neighbors have nicknamed the Make My Day Mom. It makes you realize that there's good people, you know, and just to hear somebody say that I did the right thing or to see somebody, you know, send something or, or a card or, you know, anything like that, you know, it means so much. McKinley is now getting worldwide attention and police there in Oklahoma want to make sure she stays safe. They are constantly patrolling her home and Robin, they actually stopped by twice just while we were interviewing her last night. I'm sure she appreciates all the support. All right there, Ryan, thank you.